ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be looking at the AMD R9 390X and doing a bit of a comparison to the 290X, which is the card it replaces. Now, the 390X is not going to be AMD's highest card anymore. That will be the Fury X. And uh, it is a bit of a rebrand. However, they have made quite a few under-the-hood changes, which is what we're going to be talking about here today. So uh, GPU-wise, it runs the same GPU as the 290X, the Hawaii GPU. However, this has been renamed the Grenada GPU. So it's the same a TSMC 28 nanometer GPU on the GCN 1.1 architecture. That means as far as uh, shader processors go, it gets the same as the 290X at 2816. Same with texture units, 176. The same with ROPs, which are at 64. And the same in transistors at 6.2 billion as the 290X and the 290. However, what's not the same is the reference clock speed. So it used to be 1,000 megahertz or 1 gigahertz on the 290X. This has been bumped up by 50 megahertz now to 1050. There's also be a big change in the memory. So uh, on the 290X, you would get 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 5,000 megahertz on a 512-bit bus. Now the bus has stayed the same, but the memory has doubled up to 8 gigabytes now, and that's at 6,000 megahertz, so a full 1,000 megahertz bump up on the memory. Now that's going to make quite a bit of difference. AMD's managed to do this uh, by using 4 gigabyte chips, which give better timings rather than the 2 gigabyte chips. And that should give you 20% higher memory bandwidth over the 290X. Now TDP wise is coming in with a 275 watt TDP that's a bit better than the 290X which is at 300 watts. Uh, this has just been done by refining the uh, GPU, the Hawaii Grenada GPU in it. That just means it shouldn't get as hot in theory. Now let's get into the benchmarks and see how this Asus DirectU2 does against the Asus DirectU2, the same model of 290X. there it is a decent step up over the 290X however I wouldn't really recommend anyone with a 290X to run out and upgrade to the 390X uh, it still does a good job and a lot of people should still be considering this card it still is, it has very very solid performance that 8 gigabytes of memory is going to be plenty for now and for the future and it has very very good memory bandwidth and temperature wise it also does a very good job uh, well a better job than the 290X so as you may remember the 290X was a very hot running card and uh, as we can see in my Unigen Valley benchmark my DirectU2 290X ran up to 92 degrees Celsius at 60% fan speed whereas the 390X model of the same exact cooler get 78 degrees Celsius at 45% fan speed. So they're able to get you know, lower temperatures at a lower fan speed. So that's really good too. That's also going to mean there's less noise coming out of the 390X over the 290X. So uh, temperatures wise and noise wise, it does a better job as well. And all round, uh, the 390X is a good you know, step upgrade over the 290X, which is what a lot of people, you know, should just expect these days. The Fury X is their new GPU and that's just blowing everything away. Um, but the 390X is still a good incremental upgrade over the 290X and I think it still has, well very much uh, has a place in the market. With that high memory bandwidth I do think it would be more recommended to people uh, running high resolution monitors, you know 1440p definitely and uh, 4K. However you could still use this for uh, 1080p and it would be a very uh, good strong graphics card for that as well. Maybe a little bit overkill but still really really solid and I just really like the 390X. I think it's a good card and it definitely does have a place in the market. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.